Okay, so uh, part three now. We uh, have downloaded our shape file and our demographic table from census.gov, and we're ready to. Uh, and we've done some manipulation in part two in Excel to get it all ready, get the uh, demographic table ready for import into ArcMap. So now we're ready to uh, to bring it in to ArcMap and take a look. So I've already fired up ArcMap. It's going to be here in a minute, and I have. I'm going to take this out so we know we're starting from scratch. Um, I have brought in a uh, back a base map showing Seattle streets and pop open catalog window. Here's the hierarchy. Uh, as I told you, I recommend keeping th keeping yourself sane by setting up import and final maps and works in progress. That's one way to do it. There are many different ways that could suit your workflow, but <clears throat> using some sort of nesting of folders is handy. So I have imported shape files. I've imported a table. First thing I'm going to bring in is the shape file from Tiger Line Data, TL 2010-53033. That tells us it's Washington King County block groups. So drag that over and it'll think about it. Paint it up and it covers the city so we want to deal with that. Click on the symbol, go, <coughs> go no color and let's make the block group boundaries kind of uh, stand out for us. Click OK and there you can see the level of detail that block groups using block groups provides us um, for Seattle and if you want um, see if I can make this work I had not thought about doing this previously but I think we can make this happen Seattle City Limits State Plain let's drag Seattle City Limits in here and zoom out couple times and this is kind of slow because uh, we're doing it virtually instead of on my actual computer so I'm, I'm running the Seattle U system I'm going to zoom out a couple more times just to just so we can get a good overview of Seattle and see the city limits the uh, Seattle city limits file I brought in earlier when we were doing the um, retail project and I'm not going to zoom out anymore. I'm, I'm tired of doing that. But you get a good overview of Seattle surrounding areas showing the level of detail that block groups provide us. So let's go to the catalog window and shut down that. Pop open the King County project window and under tables it shows you the CSV tables that we downloaded earlier. We want the Excel um, sheet that we saved earlier and I this is the one that I pre-prepared for you um, I did not rename it to working data as we did in the in part two example but it has the same information in it so that's the one we want we don't want original data so grab a hold of that drag it over and it shows up here or alternately you can use the add data button and find it the same way so let's start, let's make sure that things are going to be copacetic as far as doing the joins. So let's pop open that attribute table for the King County shape file. And you can see that there is the GOID 10. That's in fact the FIPS code and it's constructed with the state, the county, the tract ID and then the block group ID all concatenated together to give the GeoID 10. Let's keep that open. Let's right click on the Excel table that we just brought in, open that up, do a side by side view, arrange tables that away, and we have the spatial table on the left, the shapefile table. You can see 
the spatial information. We have the demographic table on the right. I could make it big, bigger for us, but I won't. Um, we're ready to do the join, almost ready. We currently have the demographic table selected. We want to make sure that we have the shapefile table because that's the destination. We're ready to do the join. So, joins and relates, join. We are going to find a field. Go down here to GeoID 10. We're looking in sheet, sheet 1. And that this version of things, I just called it ID. And the part 2 that I just did for you, I called it FIPS. But it will be the same. You can validate the join if you want. Um, I'm not going to take the time because I know it works. Click OK. And no complaints. It was fairly quick. We should be able to start portraying some data. That's not what I intended. Okay, so right click. Right click on the shape file. And, you know, good practice would be to rename this um, block groups or something like that. I'm not going to do that right now. But let's pop open properties. Symbology, and we're going to start to portray the demographic table, uh, data that we brought in. So let's go down to, again, symbology, quantities. Let's do graduated symbols, find something to map, and how about if we map 21 year old males in this area? Uh, show you some proportionals or some graduated symbols. We're not going to bother with normalization. I do like to clean things up a little bit by clicking on format labels. So let's cut down the number of significant digit, digits to about three. You could do two and click apply. Okay, so unfortunately we have covered up Seattle again. So let's go back to symbology and click on background here do fill color to be no color and click OK we can see the street grid of Seattle and we can see where the most 21 year old males are in Seattle so that's about it obviously a lot around the Seattle U area Capitol Hill even more around the U district and each dot represents the quantity of 21 year olds within the each individual block group census block group so that will uh, conclude this tutorial and uh, there's uh, quite a lot that you can do the workflow is not easy to accomplish but I think that's because there's so many different tables available from the census that uh, it would be prohibitive on their end and rather difficult on our end to download a each and every table that every conceivable person might want and connect it with uh, with shape uh, and hook it up as a shape file so this is probably inevitable um, once you understand how to navigate the census sites it's probably not really that necessary to use the social finder site although it is handy for doing kind of on the fly um, maps so I hope that this will take care of everybody's needs who work who's working in Seattle or anybody who needs uh, census data for other projects in uh, in this class. All right, great.